Microanomizer allows the people who do the tests about the to be able to create the same size as a sneeze or a cough that will be able to sample and repeat continuously so they can see how it will help the masks will work and how the, uh, the virus may spread. Uh, so the nature of the work that we do here at CBC is, is very niche type of work. Um, we work with either highly toxic compounds or very infectious compounds. We end up having to make a lot of our own equipment to conduct the experiments uh, that our customers require. Most of the time, those invented items just stay here. They were made for a one-off project, uh, and they don't really have a lot of utility out in the real world. This device is unique in that it does have a lot of utility out in the real world. There are many organizations that perform aerosol research, and most of those organizations are looking to generate aerosols that are respirable. Uh, this device does it, and it does it with small quantities of material, um, and it does it very efficiently. We were notified by our uh, partner, TechLink, who's in Montana, that there was interest in this patent. So part of what our office does is investigate uh, the status of patents and if there are existing prototypes and things like that. So when we investigated, um, we found out there were no more prototypes so we went to the R&T directorate front office and uh, asked them if they'd be willing to fund a few more prototypes uh, because of the commercial interest. We have a CRADA in place to where we can work with them to help them expand its use, expand some, make some modifications, some changes. They may find that they might want to change a lot of things or change nothing. And, but we're just here to support them in doing that.